few days ago, a relative of mine sent me a video, a very disturbing video of a brother explaining or ranting how his ex-wife was really putting him through it, man, causing a lot of pain, bringing a lot of pain into his life. And how he was going through a, a custody battle, how he wasn't able to see his children, uh, how the ex-wife alleged that he was molesting his children, and he was just really going through it. He then goes on to say that soon after divorcing, he met a young lady, and uh, they had sex, of course, and she became pregnant, and uh, they ultimately fell out, and she was doing the same thing uh, uh, his ex-wife did. He alleged that he, she even stated that she would do the same thing his ex-wife did, and that was preventing him from having a relationship with his child. And he said this was just too much. He said he didn't have any family, and, and basically his kids were all he had. Uh, the brother was a, a nurse, I believe in RN, so he, he made plenty of money. Uh, that wasn't his issue. Uh, he Obviously, he could he could get women. That wasn't an issue. Now, could he keep them? That's that's you know up for debate. But he did, he could definitely get them. Uh, but his thing that really hurt him it wasn't the money, uh, wasn't the loss of the disconnect with the women. It was the disconnect from his children. That's what hurt him the most. That's what was bringing him the most pain. Um. Uh, he ultimately killed the ex-wife and he killed the ex-girlfriend and then killed himself. You know, that's tragic. Very, very unfortunate. We got kids uh, now who are uh, motherless and fatherless uh, and they got quite a role ahead of them, but they can't prevail. They can't live to tell a story of triumph. But what I want to focus on and I can go many ways with this video, but what I want to focus on is uh, the ex-girlfriend saying she would do the same thing his ex-wife did. That was interesting to me, and it reminded me of a story in the Bible, uh, and that story is of uh, Samson and Delilah. Uh, long story short, Samson, the most powerful man, strongest man in the world, uh, had killed uh, many, many Philistines. Uh, Samson was an Israelite. The Philistines is uh, the primary enemy of the Israelites. Now, this strong man uh, who had killed many was gifted. He had the covering of God over him, fell in love, and fell victim to Delilah. Delilah, Philistine, uh, and so he's in violation already by dealing with a Philistine, the enemy. And she's the enemy because they serve different gods. They have uh, different code of ethics. The Israelites are about peace and morality, being upright. You know, the God that the Philistines serve, uh, I believe Dagon, is uh, about war and fertility. And so, you know, that's a contrasted mix. And so he shouldn't be dealing with this woman anyway. Now, at one point in the story, Delilah asks, where does uh, Samson get his strength? And he told her a few lies, a few fibs a few times, and she was disappointed. And he finally tells her the truth. And uh, she does just that, ties him up, gets him tied up, and they cut off his hair, his long hair, because they, he said that's where he gets his strength. And she told him how to tie him up and how he would lose his strength and how he would just be an average man. And uh, soldiers came in, she set him up, and they did just what he said would make him an average man. Now, brothers, it was pretty cocky and confident and, 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 and naive for Samson to tell Delilah where he gets his strength. You know, brothers, wherever wherever we get our strength it is the same place our weakness lies. Man, you got to be careful about what woman 
you tell where you get your strength. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Now, brothers, if you know anything about how the male and the female relationship works, masculine energy, feminine energy, you know that the woman, the woman gets her validation and gets her energy from the masculine energy. She, she thrives off our energy and our energy is the attention. The attention we give the woman, the masculine attention we give the woman fuels her. Now, this isn't a bad thing. This is just how we're created, right? Uh, that's how we create. That's that's what balances us. She gets her, her, her attention from our, she gets her energy from our attention. You know, and, and uh, that's why a woman cannot even be interested in a man, but if he's given her attention, she's energized. She may have no thoughts of being with him, may not be attracted to him personally, uh, but her walking through a crowd of men and knowing they're looking at her or somebody has said something slick, she's energized. Now that could be toxic behavior though. You know, you want a woman who gets her fuel, her energy, from one man, the masculinity of one man or one type of man, she has a type. And then she settles down with one man who's that type. The second thing is, brothers, you gotta know her intent. Now, a few videos ago, I spoke about SQ, spiritual quotient, IQ, intellectual quotient, EQ, emotional quotient. And this is the level of maturity in those three disciplines. How how high uh, or how mature are you emotionally, spiritually, and intellectually? You know, that's going to determine your IQ, EQ, and SQ. I say that's how you determine if you're equally yoked, right? Because we can be fooled to thinking somebody's not dark. We can be fueled, be fooled to thinking somebody is not unrighteous. But if you look at the IQ, EQ, uh, SQ, it's going to reveal who that person is and who you are, right? So we take this brother. Now, the brother who, who killed his ex-wife and ex-girlfriend, you know, uh, we don't know a lot about what happened. You know, we got a portion of his side. We didn't hear their side, unfortunately. So we can only speculate. But we do know this story, this type of story, this type of relationship is nothing new. Uh, it's been going on forever. And brothers, we can complain about the system needs to change and the laws need to change. Uh, the uh, family court system is dated. I, I agree with all that, but we have no control, no immediate control over other people. So the best thing to do is change the laws in your mind to change your behavior and how you think. That's the best way to combat anything because uh, we can't change the system tomorrow. It's not going to change tomorrow. But you can def definitely change your mind and the way you think and your behavior today. So, for one, this brother was wrong for even getting into another relationship so quickly. There's something going on with him emotionally. Right? There's something going on with him emotionally. Now, he admitted that he did not know the girlfriend that long. And he impregnated her. That's strike number two. He don't even know, he, don't, he doesn't know who she is. He doesn't know her SQ, her IQ, or EQ. Right? The third problem is him impregnating her gives her all the leverage. 
See, before a woman gets pregnant, the man determines if there's going to be a relationship, right? The woman typically wants the relationship <clears throat> more than the man because there's there's more benefit to her. She wants to be taken out to eat. You know, uh, most women, if they're feeling you, they want to move in together. You know, that's that's cushion on her. That's that's relief on her as far as bills. Uh, attention she's into you she gets a lot of attention from you so is more the women the woman wants the relationship more than the man most, most times is more beneficial to the woman actually it takes away from us it takes away from our purpose we can't give more attention to our purpose to our mission right we're split we're divided our time is divided, our energy is divided, our money is divided. So it's more beneficial to the woman. This is where the man has the leverage. That's why women, all every woman has asked this question, what are we? Every woman has asked this question. Now, if a man ever, ever, ever ask a woman, what are we? She is immediately turned off. And he doesn't even know, man, you giving up your leverage. She she doesn't even, she's not even attracted to him. So it's normal for a woman to say, what are we? Because she wants to lock you down. It's more beneficial to her. She wants to make sure your time, money, energy is not going towards another woman. This is where we have the leverage. As soon as she gets pregnant, she has all the leverage. Brother, you have thrown in your bargaining chips. Now, not as soon as we have sex. If we have sex without a pregnancy, I have all the leverage as a man. I really have the leverage. But as soon as a baby, a child is created, the woman has all the leverage. Period. This man making good money, you know, even if he's going through it in court, man, and having to pay a lot of child support, his downsizing is an upside to, to many people. You know, I think, I believe he was REA, man, uh, a high ranking REA. So even if uh, child support is hitting his pockets, like I say, even if he downsizes, that's, a, that's an upside for many. So I don't think the brother's too worried about the money. He didn't even complain about the money. It was about the kids. Now, he told the wrong woman, or he revealed to the wrong woman where his strength lies. I'm sure he was letting this woman know what he was going through at family court, what he was dealing with, with the ex-wife, the pain that was inflicted upon him. He probably even shed some tears. Right. And uh, she's gathering all of this, all of this information. Now, I won't say that this woman initially had bad intent. The ex-girlfriend had bad intentions. Maybe she was into him. Maybe she had good intentions. But if she's not righteous and she doesn't have a high EQ, IQ and SQ that's morally based, that's righteous. As soon as there's any, 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 any waves in the ocean, any, any uh, distrust, any friction, since she's pregnant or has child, I can't remember if she was pregnant or already had the child, she's going to go back and use that information as leverage and as protection or as a weapon, right? Because she has all the leverage. As soon as she has a child, she has all the leverage. Now, regardless if a woman has all the leverage with the child or she's pregnant, if she has uh, a high, high more fiber, uh, high EQ, high SQ, high IQ, She's not going to use that leverage unrighteously. Well, he doesn't know this. 
because he doesn't know her. Brothers, you got to sit back and take time to get to know a woman. You got to sit back and watch her. You got to listen to her. And a woman will tell you everything you need to know. When she's telling you things that happen at work, listen. When she, and listen to what she's not saying. When she's telling you things that happen between her and her friends, between her and her family, between her and someone in the store, between her and the clerk, listen. She'll tell you everything she needs. you need to know. She'll tell you her EQ, her SQ, and her IQ. That'll tell you how she resolves conflict, how she deals with conflict, will tell you everything you need to know. It's going to tell you how she'll deal with you when and if you two bump heads. Secondly, I don't know if this young lady uh, already had children, but brothers, when they have children already, you got to listen and watch how they deal with the children's father. Don't think you're so special. You're putting it down so, so good. Uh, she's so in love with you that you can't be him. Because check it out, more than likely, he was you at one time. Uh, yeah, you may not want to know this, but he was you at one time. And more than likely, not all times, not all the time, but more than likely, he received everything you, re you are receiving now. So don't think you're so special that it can't happen to you that she won't do to you what she did to him. And they won't tell you everything. They won't tell you everything that they did to that man. So you got to listen and you got to read between the lines and pay attention to what's not being said also. Watch who you tell how, tell how you get your, your, your strength, who you get your strength from and, and what your strength is. You got to be careful because that's where the weakness lies also. And most times a man's weakness is his children. Now, we do have a few brothers that don't want to let go of the woman, don't want her to move on, whether he has a child with her or not. I think that's a small pool of men. Uh, I, I really do. As a grown now, young men, they're different. You know, they hadn't really managed their emotions or learned to manage their emotions yet. They can't take rejection so well. Uh, the more they're rejected, the more they chase. They hadn't figured out how to let her go. But I'm talking to the 35 plus year old men. Uh, that's been through all that, that puppy love and getting their heart broke. Uh, I'm talking about the, the fathers. Most times we don't care about the woman moving on. We really don't. It's about the children. And most times, not all times, most times when you see an ex, the man, the ex, and the current guy getting into it, it's because the current guy is simple. Yeah. He's put this moment on the pedestal. And he hadn't really seen or accepted her dark side and not realizing, brother, brother, uh, man, you and the ex are much different. You know. And, and if you really look closely, that might look alike. Y'all might have some of the same behaviors. Y'all might both be her type. So you can be him if y'all clash. And a lot of times the current guy finds out eventually and he becomes another ex with kids with her. And he has to endure the same thing uh, the previous guy was enduring that he was clashing with. Man, this happens all the time, man, all the time. So pay attention. Get to know her. Watch her. Don't be so quick to move in together. Man, don't even be so quick to sleep with her. Court her. Listen to her. That's the most important thing you can do, brothers, is listen. Listen with wisdom. Emotion removed. You know, uh, 
this is talk about a lot, but you know, when brothers are into a woman, we'd be like, man, this the one. This the one. This the one. Now I don't know if women talk like that. This the one. They may say something else. But brothers say, brothers will say, this is the one. Right? Because man, we're, we're looking through the wrong lenses. We're not saying a lot of stuff. We're not asking the right questions. We're not paying attention to what she is not saying. And so this could have been prevented with this brother, just like Samson could have prevented it with Delilah. Right? Make sure you're equally yoked with the woman. Make sure you're at the same level of EQ, SQ, and IQ. See, this is why uh, two, for lack of a better phrase or word, two crackheads can be together for 40, 50, 60 years, right? Because they're on the same level. They're equally yoked. See, don't just think being equally yoked means you have a high EQ, SQ, and IQ. No. It's just yoking up, pairing up, teaming up with the person that's on your level. That could be a low level, mid-level, high level. That's all that means. Team up with someone that's on your level. This brother could have avoided all of this, man. Now, I want to say this brother had a low, a low uh, SQ, spiritual quotient. No, I can't really judge his EQ because things happen, man. You, you, can, you can get off your rocker when it comes to your kids. That's the most challenging thing I've ever experienced as far as uh, keeping my bearings and not go on over the edge is uh, when dealing with my kids uh, through custody battles and family court. That's the most, uh, I had to face my demons and face the darkness and dive really deep and maintain control uh, because I was close to going over the edge, uh, not doing anything to myself, of course, but to someone else, but I caught myself. And so, and I believe I caught myself because I was off. My EQ was off. I typically have a high EQ. Man, I don't I don't even I don't even bash my kids' moms. Like I don't I don't talk negatively about them, you know. Uh you know, so I've been accused of, of creeping, maybe sleeping with them because I wasn't bashing. Yeah, that's just not my thing. That's not, you know, that's just not how I rock. Uh but none of them can come back and say, yeah, he, we creep or he tried to creep. Nah, that could never be said. But just the level of my EQ, I understand that I have to work hard not to hate that woman because that woman is a part of my child. So I can't look at my child without saying that woman. Impossible. And not only that, not only physically, emotionally, and as far as mannerisms, they got ways of their mother. So how can I hate the mother but fully love the child? I believe that's impossible. So that's the level of my EQ. But if you don't have that kind of EQ, you won't understand it. Uh, but even that was challenged. But I believe my high SQ, spiritual quotient, got me through it. Uh, I saw beyond. And so that, that's what got me through it. So I'm going to say that brother had a, had a low SQ. And he couldn't live, he couldn't see the finish line beyond that moment. You know, he was caught up so so much, caught up in the moment, moment. And the moment is painful. It is hurtful. But you got to see beyond and see that, man, this too shall pass. Yeah, it's painful. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it may be unfair. But I'm going to go through it. And I'm going to try to be joyful going through it. And yeah, I will come out on the other side. You got to know that, that you'll come out on the other side. And I came out on the other side. You know, I don't I don't have the same hurt. Man, it was times I couldn't even talk about what I was going through without breaking down crying. You know, uh, 
yeah, it used to happen often. And then uh, it wouldn't happen so often. And then it would sporadically happen. Uh, and then once every blue moon, and now it doesn't happen at all. You know, uh, it's a process. And you got to trust yourself and know, hey, I'm going through it, but I'll get through it. You got to know that. But brothers, take your time. Get to know the woman. Protect your seed. Protect your seed, man. That's the most important thing you have is your seed. Seed is energy. Once you give that up, once you plant that in a woman and she's impregnated, you're giving up all your bargaining chips. You've lost all your leverage, especially in this system. And uh, you have no one to blame but yourself. You can point the finger at the system if you want, but you'll get through this much better if you look in the mirror and say, hey, man, I was unfocused. I was undisciplined. I was simping. Uh, I was leading uh, through emotion and not logic. You know, you got to accept it. And everything will turn out all right. Hey, brothers, let me know what you think, man. As always, from me to you, love. Peace.